Hey everyone, welcome to Wax Pack Wisdom. I'm Jake T. O'Donnell. Today we're going to go over some recent auction wins from Heritage Auctions and Robert Edward Auctions that both showed up uh, on Friday of this past week. Uh, this will be posting on Monday. Uh, I, if you are watching this video before July 31st, 2024, you can enter in to win in our 300 subscriber giveaway one of these three Hall of Fame rookie slabs. We have Ozzie Smith's rookie card, Cal Ripken's rookie card, and Ken Griffey Jr.'s rookie card. Um, I will link below to the video where you can uh, look up the information about how to enter the, the contest to win one of these cards. We will randomly select three winners uh, at the uh, beginning of August. And this is our thank you for uh, helping us get over 300 subscribers. So uh, please get in that giveaway again if you are watching this before uh, July 31st, 2024. After that, the giveaway will be over. So, okay. So uh, again, on Friday, I received uh, some great mail that came in of uh, from two different auction wins that I had. And uh, I'm going to go through the first one, uh, which is what I got from the most recent Heritage uh, Sports Catalog auction. I was really interested in a lot of 1952 red man tobacco cards with the tabs that lot had a ted williams in it as well as a willie mays in it the cards were in pretty good shape there was 12 cards total i believe 10 of them were hall of famers the bidding on that got to be a bit high so i did not uh did not bid on that however i did bid it on and win this lot and there are some cards that are not in this lot that i received that i will explain why i don't have them at the moment of 1953 uh, red man tobacco cards with the tabs so these are these cards are so awesome i i just i love these cards i owned a few from this set um uh, from a previous lot that i had bought but there were 28 cards total in this lot there were five hall of famers uh let's see it was hoyt wilhelm roy campanella phil rizzuto bob lemon and johnny mize i sent all of those into sgc yesterday for grading. So you will see them in a future SGC grade reveal video because I, I wanted to get the Hall of Famers graded. The rest I'm going to keep raw. And in fact, these are uh, pretty much all going to be for sale. And I'm not going to go through all of them, but you see there's some big names in here. You got Hank Bauer, Walt Dropo, a couple of Jackie Jensen cards. Uh, there was actually two Jackie Jensen's in the lot. And this was a, one that I had previously that uh, I uh, switched out uh, the best one in this lot and put this one in that this is one that I had previously. So that wasn't really part of it, but another one. Dale Mitchell made the last out of uh, Don Larson's perfect game. Gene Woodling, Gus Zerny, only got to get some of that off his face. But anyway, I'm, you know, Bobby Shantz, we talked about him on 59 Tops Friday. So we, we also talked about Mickey Vernon. Al Rosen, the Hebrew Hammer, a couple Chuck Dressen cards. I had, uh, um, that's like a really nice one. I thought about getting that one graded, um, but uh, didn't end up doing it. Bobby Adams, uh, Joe Black, who's a really uh, well known pitcher from the Dodgers that era. Andy Pafko, famously. Had the first tops card in 52. Dal Ennis, we talked about him on 59 Tops Friday. Um, Rick Dixon and J Jerry Staley, who I think we either have talked about him on 59 Tops Friday or we will. So I am going to sell all of these off uh, to try to make back most of the money that I spent on the um, on the lot. And then um, there is one card that I'm going to keep, though, that was in the lot that I didn't realize was there. One of the funny things with, with Heritage Auctions is sometimes you'll buy a lot of cards and they only have pictures of some of the cards in the lot and you're kind of buying the rest of them sight unseen which is a little bit scary um i knew for example that this lot had those uh, hall of fame cards in it as well as um dressen and jackie jensen and al rosen and a few of the bigger names but there were a few names i didn't realize were in it and one of the names i didn't realize was in it was this and this is a card i'm going to keep in my pc and that's this mel parnell uh card which is really nice um, I don't have a ton of, uh, a few, I have a few playing days Mel Parnell cards. Really, uh, the premier pitcher for the Red Sox in the late 40s into the early 50s. And, and then this opportunity to kind of show you the back of these two, which is really cool. And again, the, the, the having these cards with the tabs makes them more valuable. Um, a lot of them, you know, you can save this, save this valuable stub for your red man big league style baseball cap you know so you could send those you could send in the bottoms of these and get a cap but a lot of people did that and a lot so a lot of these cards are missing the tabs if they don't have the tabs they're not quite as valuable to collectors um but 
this one, all these ones have the tabs. So like I said, those are going to be for sale. If you're interested in any of these cards, uh, please shoot me a message at uh, waxpackwisdom at gmail.com. I'm happy to work out a deal for any or all of these cards uh, with you. But again, this one is going to stay in the PC, the Mel Parnell one. So anyway. All right. So let's talk about uh, what I got from um, what I got from Robert Edward Auctions. And uh, there were three slabs that came in. And I'm really happy with all of them. They all fit really nice parts of my PC. So the first one, I'm going to go in reverse chronological order and show you the first one. The first one is this. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous 1951 Bowman Monty Irvin rookie card. Um, this is his, you know, uh, regular issue rookie card after he uh, signed with the Giants and uh, came over from uh, his illustrious, outstanding career in the Negro Leagues. Um, when he came over to the National League. And you can see, I mean, this card is, it's so got a three, obviously, an SGC three, and it came in this lab, of course. This card is gorgeous. I mean, the centering is pretty good. It's not like incredible, um, but there's not a lot of, you know, there's not a lot of creasing on this. Like there's not, there's like, maybe that's like a slight stain up there by his name. And then the back has a bit of a wax stain on the back there, as you can see on the top and another little one down there. But like, you know, that, that corner's a little bit rough, but this is just a, such a beautiful card. And uh, Monty Irvin, of course, Hall of Famer. Hall of Famer mostly for what he accomplished in the, in, the, uh, in the Negro Leagues. You can see that there's a little bit of a wrinkle in the back there. I don't even think that goes through to the front. But um, great years with the Giants. I think he was with the Cubs at the end, very end of his career, but played some first base. Also played the outfield alongside Willie Mays and key part of their 51 team that wins the pennant. Uh, comes back, Miracle of Kugan's Bluff, all that stuff. I love this card. I saw this and I I, uh, I got this for basically what I would say what comps are on the card. So you can look that up if you want. Uh, but that's a really nice addition to my Hall of Fame rookie card PC. Um, so that's a great card. Love that one. Next one is, uh, again, going. we're going way back. Now we're going pre-war for the, the last two. And they're both Hall of Famers and they're both big, big uh, Hall of Fame playing days at, at PC ads. The first one is this one. 1912 recruit little cigars t207 of charles bender he was known as chief bender because he was a uh, member of uh, i believe the ojibwe tribe modern modern audiences modern uh uh, uh histor history refers to him by his uh give, by his name of charles bender so that's what we're going to call him um this is a, in an sgc one and a half slab it's an old slab um if i had been a little bit more patient yesterday i could have gotten this in uh, as a reholder with my uh, the the SGC ad that just uh, SGC sub that just went out, I did send in that George Sisler turf cigarettes card as a reholder. Um, but you know uh, there'll be other uh, SGC orders soon enough. I really wanted to get that SGC order out uh, in advance of the national when I assumed that they're going to start to slow down a bit. So anyway, so this is a T207 recruit little cigars. Um, this was the set after the T206 is, of course. You see the back is, is pretty beat up on this. You can see, I don't know how well you can make that out, where it's like scratched up kind of basically. This is a this is such a great card of such a great pitcher who was just one of the ace, uh, just an ace level pitcher for Connie Mack and the great Phillies teams, uh, not Phillies, the A's teams in Philadelphia in the 19, uh, 1900s into the, into the teens. And uh, one of the best pitchers of his era, certainly deserving Hall of Famer. The T207s are a maligned set, the brown background and, and uh, sort of monotone colors compared to the T206s. I actually really like this particular card because it's a you know it's more of an action shot. Obviously, he's he's in the midst of pitching, and um, I think it's this is a really nice card. So this is a really nice add to the. Uh, Again, the Hall of Fame playing days PC, especially for pre-war. Um, I'm I'm amassing. Uh, I feel like I, I have to say I'm I'm really proud of the pre-war collection that I'm building, and that leads into the big card of the three that I got. This is uh um this is one of the more significant ads that I've made to my pre-war PC and especially the playing days PC for Hall of Famers. 1909 Sweet Cap. T206, Nap Lajway, the throwing card. I believe Lajway has three different T206s. Uh, one is the portrait, one is of him holding a bat, and the other is this of him throwing. There may be a, uh, there's at least at least one or two guys that had four cards in the in the uh, T206s. But this, I was thrilled with the price. I will say that all in, after the buyer's premium, I paid 300 for this. 
But you can see this is definitely a one. You can see there's kind of a creasing and stuff there. And then there's like a, you see those scratches right there. Those are on the, on the, the, the slab. But uh, just like, you can see that this card is pretty beat up. The back is fairly nice, but same thing. Like, you know, there's even like a little bit of paper loss right there, you can see. But this is such a huge add to my uh, ad. Uh, Nap Lajoy, one of the greatest hitters ever, to ever live. 400 hitter, I believe still holds the record for highest batting average in the history of the American League. Years with the Philadelphia A's, as well as many years with Cleveland. Of course, they were called the Naps after him. He's from Rhode Island originally and uh, is in the second ever Hall of Fame class. I, I still don't have a playing days card from anyone in the first Hall of Fame class. I'm hoping maybe by the end of the year between the Philly show and um, uh, the Shriners later in the later in the year that maybe I'll try to be able to get I'll be able to get a playing days card of one of the big five from the first Hall of Fame class. Most likely it'll probably be either like Christy Matthewson or uh, or Walter Johnson. Nap Lajoy is in the second ever Hall of Fame class in 1937 and uh just like a, a consistently amazing hitter for for so many years so really proud and and really happy to own uh, a playing days card of his so we'll leave that up there so that is that's basically it i'm gonna move my face out of the way as always still again still trying to work on how to fix the glare around here but um anyway really thrilled with the nap lajway card uh really thrilled with all of these cards let me know if you're interested in any of those 53 red man cards uh, i'm happy to to talk to folks, make deals, whatever. And uh, that's it. That's going to do it for this edition of Waxback Wisdom. Uh, tell us, tell me what you thought of these cards. Uh, which one was your favorite? Which did you like the most? Uh, leave us a comment. Let us know. We'd love to hear it. Again, please uh, please get in our giveaway. Uh, the link will be below here to, to win one of these three cards. Again, if that's that's uh, if you're watching this before the end of July 2024. Um, you know, please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our Wax Pack Wisdom content. Um, in the description of the video, you'll find links to where you can follow us on all social media channels. And you'll also find a list of our favorite nonprofits and charities. It would mean a lot to Abby and myself if you would take a look at those and uh, uh, con consider contributing to one of them. It would, we would really appreciate it. So thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time on Wax Pack Wisdom. Take care.